Next, we will discuss about the vernal character conjunctivitis. It is also known as spring catarrh. It is a type of allergy conjunctivitis in which there is inflammation of conjunctiva due to any allergy or hypersensitivity reaction. This may be either immediate or delayed type of hypersensitivity. In case of vernal character conjunctivitis, these are bilateral, recurrent and self-limiting allergic inflammation with periodic seasonal incidence. This most commonly occurs in the summer season and hence also known as warm weather conjunctivitis. More commonly, it is seen in the young boys around age group 4 to 20 years and it results by puberty. Usually, there is a family history of atopy. Coming to the etiopathogenesis, it is mainly type 1 IgE mediated hypersensitivity reactions to an exogenous allergen like pollen grains. Type 2 response is also being seen. Conjunctival epithelium will undergo hyperplasia and this adenoid layer will be having cellular infiltration and this fibrous layer shows proliferation which later undergo hyaline changes. These all pathological changes will lead to the formation of multiple papillae in the upper tarsal conjunctiva. Next we will see the clinical features of vernal character conjunctivitis. The most common symptom is intense itching. It is intolerable and increases when the patient comes in contact with the warm, humid atmosphere. The other symptoms are burning sensation, mild photophobia and characteristic ropey discharge. The signs can be classified as conjunctival signs and corneal signs. The conjunctival signs, the most common presentation is the palpebral form. It is having polygonal, flat-topped papillae formation which is arranged as characteristic cobblestone or pavement stone pattern. This picture shows the characteristic cobblestone or pavement stone appearance of the papillae. It is more commonly seen in the upper tarsal conjunctiva. In severe cases, papillary hypertrophy can lead to the formation of giant papillae. The Maxwell Lyon sign is the formation of mucus plaques in between the papillae due to the ropey discharge. The next form is the limbal form. It is having congestion in of bulba conjunctiva. There is formation of limbal papillae around the limbus. Presence of discrete whitish raised dots along the limbus is known as horner trandas spots. It is a combination of eosinophils and epithelial debris. In this picture, you can see the horner trandas spots in the limbal area. Coming to the vernal keratopathy, punctate epithelial keratitis involve the upper cornea and are usually associated with the palpebral form. These coalesce and form epithelial erosions. The corneal plaques are formed due to the coating of bare areas with mucin and fibrin. There is epithelial healing is impaired and this lead to the formation of characteristic shield ulcer or Togby's ulcer. These present as a shallow transverse ulcer in the upper part of cornea. There is pseudogerandoxone which are paralimbal grey white band of lipid deposition due to the repeated stromal infiltration. They resemble the Arcus senilens. They have a classical cupid's bow outline. This picture depicts the characteristic shield ulcer. Coming to the treatment part, topical and systemic anti-inflammatory therapy are being used in the treatment. Topical antihistamines or topical mast cell stabilizers like sodium chromoglycate are being used. 
nowadays most commonly the dual action drugs like acelacystine olopatadine and ketotifene are the preferred drugs the topical steroids usually added as an initial therapy in acute exacerbations and tapered after the episode subsides the oral antihistamines will helps to relieve the itching in case in severe cases the topical mucolytic like acetylcysteine helps in the treatment of early plaque formation artificial tears will provide a soothing effect in case of shield ulcer antibiotics and steroids are being also used supportive measures such as dark goggles to prevent photophobia and call compressors for a soothing effect are also being used in the management of vernal character that covers the two important conjunctivitis namely trachoma and vernal character conjunctivitis thank you